It's been an eventful journey for the uh, People's Democratic Party in Ondo State from being the ruling party in the People's Democratic Party to the Labour Party and then back to the People's Democratic Party until, of course, its defeat to the All Progressives Congress in the 2016 governorship election. Today we review the fortunes of Ondo State PDP as well as other national issues as I bid you welcome. I am Bukola Samuel Wemimo. It's your preferred investigative interview on TVC. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Thank you for staying tuned. Today, my guest is the chairman of the People's Democratic Party here in Ondo State and the person of Chief Clement Fabuidi. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Um, let's start this way. It's been more than a year since your defeat of the All Progressives Congress you know, in the state, a year plus. How have you been managing in your new role as the new opposition? What happened there was the uh, internal crisis within the PDP that culminated into not enough preparation for that election, and the point which was caused by INEC, the other side, and the powers that be there. Because, because of the uh, internal crisis that we, that we had then, so, substitution oh, so of names. You admit came. that there so were, there we were internal no crises. So, do you yes. take responsibility? That was, caused, that was caused by INEC as at that time. Because the Jim Ibrahim was substituted for that of Jagede. Jagede had been initially published. By but let's INEC. not forget that there was a national leadership tussle which trickled down to the PDP yes, in all the states yes, of the federation. That is what I'm saying. But INEC, so, you should take INEC some form of responsibility. No, 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 no. INEC also uh, 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 cultivated. I mean, participated in that particular uh, 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 trouble. So what happened was that the academy was to published. There was no cause for and though there was a court judgment and they reversed it and they gave it to Jimmy Ibrahim. But at the end of the day, there was an appeal court judgment or superior judgment then that returned Jagadeh's name. And the law says that Annex should be able to republish Jagadeh's name for 30 days. Was, but before that, before that party. upheaval, it had been known to the Ondo people that uh, former Governor Lucia Gumimiko had anointed uh, uh, S.A.N. Jagede uh, as his successor, and he had emerged as a flag bearer there of the PDP. There was no anointing. You know, you people are getting it wrong. There was no, the governor never anointed anybody. You understand? But the governor is a human being. Uh, by the culture of PDP, he is a delegate. So and he has if right you choose, to say, If you choose to see it yes, that way, Mr. There Chairman. There was a clear primary. If you choose to see it that way, but he was known as the PDP flag bearer before the upheaval began. So even at the end of the day, the, no, Ondo, he was, he the was, Ondo people knew, PDP, knew who knew were, they were going to vote for. No, no, no. Jagade wasn't a PDP flag bearer before the contest, I mean before the primary. You understand? But it is true. But he was an aspirant. It was an aspirant. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. So Sakala, he was, that was an aspirant. He had enough time with, with, within the purview of the people. He had enough time for the scrutiny of the people for them to make up their minds about the who they the wanted to vote for. It was not the primary that was the problem. But the internal crisis within the party that brought us on substitution of name of Jagede because of the dichotomy then at the national level on the leadership of the party. Why Jagede was sold over that of Jimo Ibrahim? The, that the back and forth between INEC and the party grant, granted. Yeah. But the people knew him and they knew who they wanted to vote for. In spite of all the back and forth, he was still defeated at the election. Uh, like, like I, I insist and I maintain. That there so was is that no not contest. a question mark no, 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 on no, the I... performance of the PDP no, in no, 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 it is not. It is not. We'll come to that shortly. I want to affirm and reaffirm to you that that election was no context. Because we, the, the, the substitution of Jimmy Ibrahim's name, damn the enthusiasm of people, the party members, and even the majority of those state people that were already working for Jagede, you understand. So when Jagede names came back, you know, we had no time to campaign. And it is only fair that I make extends and publish Jagadeh's name and obey the law or, uh, uh, for 30 days uh, 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 publication. That would have been able to afford us to do the necessary campaign and get prepared for the election. But On that two days, they were restored and there was election. But so campaign, exactly campaign for the PDP started well before preparations for that election. It started, the on, the, was it started on the day Governor Lucia Gumimiko won the election in 2012 to be returned as governor. We did not start our second term. Our, no, our, our continuity, our continuity campaign. You understand that who 
who we who, who we call the governor Mimiko's job. We didn't start that until when the annex says, okay, it is time for you to get prepared for the next election. We were working. And that is true, and it is evident today. Any 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 political party in yeah. power starts mm. its campaign from the day it wins the election. So the result no, of that no, election no, 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 that was is, a vote of no confidence on the PDP. It's not correct. It's not correct at all. Any government that wins an election should first of all concentrate on fulfillment of electoral, electoral campaign promises. The time there are time frames for everything in politics. There are time for okay continuity or after or election period. Annex has standard timetables of which if you go against, you are you will be liable. You, you understand? So defeat has been a bitter pill, undoubtedly. Well, uh, that is true, but in any contest, it's either you win or you lose. But the ability to to buckle up, to speak again after after losing an election is what makes a party. It what makes a man. Let's look at the consequences of your defeat. Um, at that election. As party chairman, what efforts of reconciliation have you been making, especially towards the aggrieved members who were under the Sheriff faction, uh, you know, who, uh, as a result of the division in the party, uh, left uh, along with, I, I think, Jimo well, Ibrahim? Glory be to God, as of today, the PDP, National and in those state, there's nothing like a Sheriff faction again. All those who have been laid to rest by the Supreme Court judgment. The committee have been set up at the national level and they have achieved a lot. In Ondo State here, there was nothing like there's nothing like a Sheriff faction again. Or the principal actors. True, there but are they are back? back? Is yes, B they... Poroye back? John they... Alabi back? Uh, Yemi uh, uh, Johnny Bode back? Ademola Genti back? Are yes, they back? Thank you, thank you, thank you. People that are they have needed, they are back in the party. That is, and they are working. Now, so you know, those state now is one school, one leadership caucus, one uh, state working committee, one state executive council, and onward march. We are moving on to victory. One, so the exit of all the others on the list <coughs> is inconsequential. They, got, they left for another party, but we left for mega party. So, of what consequence it is, it is uh, uh, we we'll go to defeat together. PDP will have his own land, mega party will also have his own life. No problem. So that is question or not, until we see the result of the election. Alabi is still a member of PDP. He has not said he's not a member of PDP. And he's working. You understand? I told you that there's no sheriff group in Ondo State again. It's been laid to rest. As we're talking, the sheriff is in APC. But that's not the end of your defection problem, Chairman. You also had uh, the speaker led by... Uh, le leading seven others defecting to the All Progressives Congress. Uh, thank you. Following uh, the victory of the APC. Yes, uh, you see what happened um, is uh, the politics of a black man. If a party brings you into power and you voted the way, it is either you are looking for a ticket, either second time or third time in the new party you be to, or or that you don't want to give back to people. You understand? That is some deduction of some of we black people. But we thank God as of today. I am sure they are regretting it. Yes, some of them that have called us back, they are beckoning to us. They want to back, come back to PDP. But we tell them, go back to the people. Go and give back to the people first. Then mm. you come back. Interesting. Then you yes, they, but they are free. They are free to come back. Because the political constitution is very clear. It's mm. just, they come back to the party with only, even within a month. You get the Interesting. Way back. After a month, they are free to contest for the primary. If I may That's borrow it. your words, Chairman, uh, selfish politics, politics of black buy, will I use the same traits to describe your own defection when your governor, in that unforgettable defection from the Labour Party to the PDP, uh, mm -hmm. you also went with him? Yes, In fact, you. you were chairman of Labour Party. It was not So deflection. was your own defection don't black get it by no, selfish no, 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 politics no, no. as no, well? No, 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 don't get it wrong. There was no deflection from Labour Party to PDP. It was movement of government. Movement of government. We all agreed. No dissenting voice. The government that's, of all those That's a redefinition. States, excuse, excuse me, excuse me. It is not a deflection. It was moving the government De of all those state then. Wait. Yes, it is not. It was the movement of the government of Fundo State into PDP. Because PDP there was the national party. Towards, what happened? Excuse you, me. It was the party, convenient to forget about uh, no, 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 the no. workers' ideology there when was, you were no. moving the government from the Labour Party okay, what were, to the what, PDP. What were we doing on that Labour Party then that we didn't do when we got to PDP? Nothing. It was the same government. More people came in and all one march were moving. We were connected to the national grid. Then it was then that when we moved into PDP that we had approval. Then other Jonathan, the seaport for Ondo State. 
You understand? I don't believe Jonathan won that election. This is what in the book that you know those things. Uh, by now, would have been uh, would have would have been completed. I remember your definition of uh, your movement. Yes. Your movement from Labour Party to the PDP. It was the government that not moved a defection. I remember your words, sir. Now uh, let's look at uh, another movement. Yeah. Your former principal or your godfather or the leader of your party, whichever way you choose to look at him, has announced his movement or defection in the eyes of the people uh, from the People's Democratic Party. Yes. He has not said where he is going to, but yeah. I read recently your appeal to him to remain in the party because he remains the leader of your party. How are you dealing with that? Uh, well, thank you. Uh, Governor Jago Mimiko is an individual. He's our leader. We respect him. He, it is true that he has told us that he may likely move out of the party that is consulting. That is the word. That he is highly likely to move out of PDP and that he's consulting. You understand? So, for now, I want to say he has moved out of PDP. Because the popular effect of his consultation, he will wait whether to stay in PDP or go back to any other party of his choice. That is at individual level. What he has seen up there, I have not been able to see it. But he called us, he explained to us. But I, as a person, I am not convinced that I should leave PDP. Because this time around, our movement, you're not, you're not our convinced. Comment, yes. I, is I, it because yes. Governor Mimiko is, no. former Governor Mimiko is no longer in power? So that's no, why you're not no, no, convinced no, 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 this no, no, time. No, 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 excuse me, far from that. When he was Governor, wait, it was wait, convenient for wait, you to move the government wait, along with him. Wait now, far from that. Far from that. We moved the government of those states, the Labour Party, to PDP. There was the agreement of all of us as at that time. He consulted. We agreed. In cooperative analysis. Have you fallen, wait, wait, have wait, you wait. fallen out I'm with your former political that, godfather over certain issues that you would rather we are not privy to? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Not really. But not the really. reasons, the excuse but me, to an extent, the reasons are deals by Mr. Gov, by, by leader, by my political mentor, Gobon The reasons are deals that we should live for, I, I, I believe, is not witty enough to me personally and to generality of our members, our two members of PDP in their own those states. And that is why you have now, told him yes, that... Yes, we have suffered a lot under this PDP as a national party, as a national platform. So I want to remain that we reap the fruit of PDP, that national platform, in their own those states. Because if we leave PDP now, if we leave PDP now, what of the timid members of our party that wants to contest, what happens to their paid? You know, leadership is not about... It's not about uh, 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 leadership all the time. There are things that a leader has to has to tolerate. There are things that a leader must be able to accommodate because of the followers. That and that is, is why belief. you have added a key rider to your appeal to him that if he decides yeah. to leave, you will move on without him. Uh, 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 well, I am not leaving PDP. That is what I know. So that's what you uh, said. That's yes. what I read that you said. Yes, yes. I am if not he decides PDP, to leave, you will move yeah, on without him. him. But if he finally leaves, you will move on without him. Oh, uh, PDP will not die. All right. You're PDP watching, will not die. You're watching fireworks you. on TVC. And uh, we're having a lot of issues clarified, especially what the PDP's position is as far as their defeat is to the All Progressives Congress in the 2016 governorship election. There are more issues to review, so stay with us if you don't want to miss out. We'll be right back. Thank you for staying tuned to Fireworks. If you have been watching, we have been talking today with the chairman of the People's Democratic Party here in Ondo State. And we've been uh, clarifying a lot of issues as regards the governorship election, especially as regards the defection which the chairman has chosen to see or define as movement of the former Labour Party government under former Governor Lucia Gumimiko to the PDP when he defected in about 2012 or so. Now we're moving on now to looking at uh, the consequences of the PDP government's defeat to the All Progressives Congress which is uh, go former Governor Mimiko's announcement uh, uh, about his exit, his planned exit from the party. Now, I ask again, Mr. Chairman, that um, um, have you fallen out with your former leader, Governor Lucia Gumimiko, on any issue? I ask again, which has informed your stance this time that if he doesn't reconsider his plan to move from the PDP 
you will move on without him. If he says that we should leave PDP, that we have suffered, that we went through a lot of trauma, that we lost a lifetime election, now that the platform is settled and people are ready to context and that we have only one national working committee now under secondos, that the issue of divided leadership at the level is settled and that in our state, in those states that we only want, have one SCO down to the world level and our people are ready to contest now and that just in a board campaign. For me, as state chairman, to leave that platform and throw that platform into another round of crisis of who is going to be chairman or whether they should uh, 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 ban or dissolve the SCO and my name will ring bell in truncating of people's ambition, I will not be part of it. Because I ask, because I there be are reports that, that uh, you may have fallen out with him over funds received by the Ondo State PDP from the arms deal cash allegedly distributed by the former NSA, uh, Sambo Dasuki, who is uh, under investigation, uh, or, or on trial rather. Uh, is this true? No, this is not Because the me. reports say that uh, the former governor collected the funds Rooted through a private account, but had you signed for it, uh, over which the EFCC is now investigating you? That's not correct. Far, far from it. I was the chairman of PDP, that 2015 election, of National uh, Assembly elections and presidential election of a good luck donator. I was the chairman. Toko Bambudupe was the DG campaign. I was called that I should go I almost, uh, almost uh, the 24... Almost the 36 hours to election. The fund came belatedly. Seriously belatedly. Leaders were waiting. Everybody were waiting for the election fund. Logistic funds. That's what I would call it. To pay for party agents. You understand? To pay for a, 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 a movement. Transportation of members that, uh, that don't have a pulley boots in their area that willing to walk two or three kilometers before they get to their pulley use. Logistic funds for the party. 500 million came. And I signed for it. I signed. I see Ofabo, the chairman of PDP in Odo State in that, during that time and still now, signed for that money to prosecute the National Assembly election and the, uh, and the very good luck donor presidential election as at that time. It was party money. It was the party that called me and we went to bank. We got the money in the Fidelity Bank. We signed for it. So we didn't steal any money. Now that the governor Mimiko collected the money and passed through to a private account, that's a damaging lie. So it is true that the FCC came. They accosted us and they, 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 they confronted us with our own signature. And we said, yes, we collected the money. They asked us various questions. You understand? As far as we are concerned, the money was sent to us by the party to prosecute the National Assembly and President Election of 2015. You understand? If it is an offense, to collect money sent to you by your party. That's why I'm not meant to, to, to understand. And the election money would have as party chairman. And the other man has DG campaign. You understand? It's not for us to, to, to start query where is this source of so money from. So it is not true that your grouse is the governor? No, not at all. Not at all. Smartly had you signed for not it instead at of all. him. No, 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 no. The governor does have to sign for it. I was the party chairman and I'm still the party chairman. When the money came, the money is meant for the party. To prosecute that election, he asked so for the you, money before you, it was distributed Mr. into Chairman, the local government. How do you explain news just this morning or uh, the night before by the PDP support group that uh, Governor Shagumimiko, before he exits the party, he must account for the money uh, collected by the Ondo State PDP for that election? Uh, well, to me, to me, that's just an individual, individual assumption or individual position. You understand. So you do not identify what I'm, uh, what I'm with privileged, the PSG. Excuse me. What I'm privileged to know, they may not know. They didn't know that I signed for that money and it was meant for the, the election. That's the money, as far as I'm concerned, that's the money I know that came to that was 2015. It's different from the one you are saying now. This one is for the last uh, governorship election in the state. That's what the PSG, PSG, uh, PSG man is saying. And as I'm concerned, I didn't know. I'm not aware, as party chairman, that any money came into the state through the governor. I didn't know anything about that. But what I know is that, what I know, they may not know. But they should have asked questions eh, before printing those type of uh, 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 call for questions.
Mm. But do you yes. identify with the PDP support group within the Ondo State PDP? No, 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 no. You do no, not no. identify. No, you see. Are they a see, rebel group? You see, no, no, they are not. Look, they are not rebel groups. Okay. They are not rebel groups. These are a, 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 a culmination or association of young men and women that are cerebral in um, ICT and they committed themselves into a sort of, um, let me say, publicity department of the party. And they also went out the public school reconciliation. That is what they do. You understand. And in their various moving around the states, they stumble on a lot of information whether it is right or not. You understand. If they had asked me as the chairman before going ahead, that to this press. is what that this is what if they asked me that question, I would have been able to explain uh, better to them. So there are things that I know at my level. There are things the governor will know at his level that I don't know. There are things the, the candidate will know at his level that I don't know. But to my own personal knowledge and to the knowledge of the party, eh, I am not aware of any money received by anybody or any who they are not given to the governor that which to you possess the election for. that it did not. Besides that which you signed for. That is different. That's 2015 election. 2015 different election. from uh, 20... Is it 12 or 13 election? Okay. Uh, you understand? It's different. Okay. Governorship election, National Assembly election, presidential election. That is the one I signed for. That was sent to me. And was judiciously spent. We have all the records. Okay. Now, yes. now, sir, still on the fortunes of the PDP, especially against the backdrop of your appeal to your former leader or your current leader yeah. uh, to remain in the PDP, he's still uh, a relevant force in Ondo politics. Thank you. Now, Thank are you. you wary that upon his exit, He's going to live with all his supporters. Thank you. This exist will definitely affect PDP in Nondo State. But it is not unsurmountable. It will. He was governor for it. He was he was he was he was he was, he was SSG in PDP. He was minister in PDP, two-time governor, and ended up a PDP man, chairman of governors forum, a brilliant man, a man that has performed well in office. Of that, it will affect. But I am saying to, I'm telling you that it is not a surmountable. You remember that if my guy finally leaves, there are some members of PDP that were aggrieved, that were annoyed, for, that we moved government of Ondo State and jumped into PDP that will come back into the party. There are some people that did not like his ideology. He believes in a leadership, followership doctrine. My God does not believe. He, my God believes in consensus candidacy for any party. My God doesn't believe in going through the rigor of primary. As we coast home gradually, Mr. Chairman, I know that you've talked passionately about your travails ahead of that uh, 2016 election, which you lost to the All Progressives Congress. Um, I told you there was no contest. The back and forth between. No, there was no contest. They, they can't beat us. Still, and I gather that uh, you, alongside the gov former Governor Mimiko, were in Abuja. Uh, at that time, trying to resolve issues. Still, there are commentaries that uh, Governor Mimiko may have traded a Itayo Jegede for a soft landing. What I know, first of all, hmm? the reasons, if you may ask me, that what are the reasons that made us uh, lose that election in those state? Eh? That I know, that I know, number one is the internal crisis within PDP. That culminated into changing Jim Ibrahim's name to that of no changing Jagada State to that of Jim Ibrahim. That is what it was a major blow. You understand? It was a major blow, and because of the leadership crisis at the Dinah Channel. That is why. Two, if they had extended that election for just one week for Jagada to get his hands together and for the party to 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 put things right. I'm telling you, the guy would have been, it would be higher than that of Mount Kilimanjaro. That is the truth. Those are the two factors that I know. You understand? If they say the governor will prepare a soft landing, for with who? For himself. Oh, no, with the because discuss, he, was, he, he, was, he was a PDP man. He was clairvoyant they, about the APC's impending victory because the APC was now the government in power and perhaps to avoid the uh, prosecution. On what? The type of governance that he has done, a very successful government, with a packaged, well packaged reference programs that he executed, which the current government are now enjoying. 
The people of the state now, they have seen the difference between the government because and the current APC government, uh, government in all those states. So Clean what's the clear. difference? What's the difference? Lack, Lack of difference. Up. Okay, go Lack ahead. Lack of difference. His government had woman face under PDP. But That's he PDP owed government. salaries. Wait, ah, wait. No. The, the, the federal government didn't hold salary? The doctor didn't hold salary? Is it peculiar to him alone? Far from it. You understand? People, go, 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 go out there, you know, those But why are party people leaders uh, comfortable with talking about owing salaries as a problem that we just have to deal with? Isn't it a major breach of it trust? It is a national problem. Owing salary is a national problem. You understand? Apart from Lagos. But maybe, governors maybe are elected because they are able, today. because, because of their that competence, salary. to solve problems. Eh? Governors are elected because they are competent to solve problems, like... Would they manufacture money? Backlog of salaries. No, wait, wait. They can't manufacture money. Get it right. Governance is, governance is not about paying salary alone. The Ambassador can pay promises on fulfill. The percentage of workers that take salaries, you compare it to the general population of the country. Governance is more than paying salary. You understand? We have to provide security. Which this government is failing now. Everybody is clamoring for a better change, a positive change, not a negative change. You understand? Security, paramount. Guarantee the living, the living standard and the life, substantive life of individual. That's a more primary uh, uh, obligation of any government. Any government that fails on that, that government is, is a nullity. Then, apart from that, education. Go and look at the schools we may build. This government says it's not sustainable. Which one have they built? What have they done that is new? To even maintain the structure, they couldn't. Talk in terms of hate about life. That the individual's life. In terms of hate and safety. Look at our modern child con uh, concept in PDP that we are having now. It's bastardized now. It's been reduced to a mere consulting clinic now. If you go there now for science operation, you have 100,000, 120,000. Things that are either to be free under PDP government. So what I'm talking about. I want to thank you very much for thank your you. time. Uh, you. Chairman PDP Nondo State, Mr. Clement Faboedi. Thank you. That's how it's been on the program today. Of course, uh, on all the issues uh, that may be cloudy that you read on the papers, of course, that you hear on the electronic media, you have clarity, and that's the essence of fireworks, raising the bar on national conversation. And that's why I urge you to watch the repeat broadcast if you've missed the first edition. And join me again same time next week when I bring you another fiery edition <coughs> of your preferred interview program, Fireworks on TVC. I am Bukola Samuel Wemimo. Bye for now. <laughs>